up, everybody. Hope we're having a good night. Uh, creating a lounge. If anyone wants to join in, it, character select is on. It's the first to one, 99 seconds. Um, PC and PS4 is allowed. So, let's see what we have. Um, how are you guys doing tonight? Some, uh, you know, I saw some crazy stuff going on today. Hey! Oh my god, Brett, you're, you're ridiculous. That's my buddy Brett, he's up in Canada. You, <laughs> you type in all this stuff. You know, we're like, we're friends. We hang out every, at every uh, FGC tournament. We always hang out together. It's go time. Salty Dojo just entered the room. Salty Dojo. Oh, man. Um, the last time I was on, we played against a really good Vega player, and he was under a, a hidden name, and it was Jumping Rope Naked. I was like, wow. He was really good. He was really good, and he was, um, he was aggressive. Oh, he picked Akuma. I thought he was going to pick, um, Zangief. All right, let's see what we have here. I don't get to play against, um, Akuma's too often. Hey, are you and James Chen on the same time? No, James is West Coast. I actually, I think James lives in, um, L.A. And I'm in Pittsburgh, so I am East Coast. Um, but I'm buddies with James. He's a really, he's a really awesome guy. Whoa. Lost. Okay. It's go time. Ah, but he's got full bars. I don't know what's going on. That was weird. Well, it looks like we have um. Well, he's not ready. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> now nobody wants to play. All right, here we go. Oh, James is playing right now. Oh, I didn't know that. You know what? Um, I don't know what his tag is. Maybe, maybe, is he, um, let me think here. Is if he's in an open room, I could probably go and like join his open room. Um, I don't know if he would join mine. I mean, because if he did, there's there's not much going in it right now. Let me see. You know what? I don't know if he's doing. Sometimes he does some sort of like a learning thing, like a class. I don't think he's not doing like some sort of a class thing, is he? Is it just like an open, like an open room? Maybe I'll, I'll message him. Here, wait, I'll play this real quick and then I'll message him. Round one. Fight!
laggy in here tonight. Round two. Fight. For me, it's like the, the screen is kind of shaking a little. I'm trying to do my one combo, it's a... He's not in here anymore. <sighs> okay, I just messaged him. We'll see. Oh, it says active five hours ago. Uh... Does anyone know what the name of his uh, room is? Let's see if I can just find it in here. Let's I'm sure he's streaming. Cave Rod, J Wong. There he is. But what? Yeah, well, I don't know what uh, time to switch it up, Zangief, but I don't know. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what the name of his room is. Uh 
so much more defensively. Oh, what's that? Alright, I'm gonna put mine back on so I can see what anybody's saying. Wow, right through her. to join in please do i think it's um there's only two of us in this room here let's see oh hey ray's on hey hey what's up yo let's yo yo it. what's up so my buddy ray i i've never met him officially at a tournament or anything but he is a really good ibuki player and this is exciting um because i love watching them i love watching them play yo i'll show you the epitome of beauty Fight! 
Damn it, I'm not hitting that claw switch. I don't know why. like how they had the dinosaurs in Street Fighter 4. I wish we had an option to play as a dinosaur, like, uh, Alex. Ooh. job with her and I that helps you understand what this character is capable of when you're finally playing against someone who knows what they're doing, you know? When it's coming all the way down in the sky and you think to yourself that um, you'd be walking it, but you don't. It still hits you. Because I hit her, she throws the ice cube up, I hit her, and then I always think I'm walking for it to come down, but it doesn't. Yeah, Ebooker. Ebooker. It's go time. No, you know what? I didn't see that. Hey, listen, if um, if there's a YouTube of that, can you put it on my uh, Facebook? Can you link me to it on my Facebook? I'd really appreciate that. If there is, you know what I mean, if they caught it on video, I'll, I'll definitely watch it and take, take some notes on that. No, that's okay. You know, my only thing is, is this, it's, I, I'll start doing a combo and then obviously I'll drop it, right? But, um, but the thing is, is even in trying to do it, I'll forget it halfway through. So let's say I start doing a boss switch combo and then the, the biggest part of the hurdle for me is getting the, the switch in time. And I always, I don't always drop it. I drop it sometimes. And uh, and then when I get the switch, I'm thinking, oh my god, I get so damn excited that I actually landed it. Then I gotta try to come up with something. I try to remember. Neutral medium punch, crouching, don't worry. light punch, and then the medium roll because I was used to doing crouching jab, 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 and then roll, which doesn't do as much damage. Airlift told me that. Whoops. Uh, 
See, that's the thing. Does this actually combo? I mean, well, like that, that, and then the roll. But I thought everybody was using Crouch and Meat Punch. That one. Shit. Of course, I guess it's better because it goes further, right? But I can't. I seem. I can't seem to get. Whoops. I can't seem to get the uh, the roll to link. Ah, that up to here. Get here, Ray. I know what you're trying to do with those diabolical schemes. Oh, no, I don't think it's bad. Obviously, we need to nerf Yuri. Yeah, anybody can, um... Anybody can uh, join in if you guys want to play. I am never close enough for that combo. wants to join, that'd be good, because, um, really, it's just me and Ray in the room. Uh, anybody wants to join, good. See how he had, um, uh, what's it called? He got me used to thinking that he was going to keep doing that one punch, and then I got thrown. Wow, see fast. No. No. Forgot I had a claw on hot. I have nothing to say. Hey! What's up? How are you? Kung Fu Treachery. You know what? That movie was on El Rey. I don't know if you guys get El Rey, but um, it's a channel. I have DirecTV. It's a channel on DirecTV that shows all kinds of high action and horror movies, exciting movies. And Kung Fury was on. Yeah, Kung Fury was on, and I was I was super excited. Yeah, but it's good to see you. I'm happy you're in here. Oh man. Hammond. But what was that? Um, what was that? YouTube, not YouTube, but I'm gonna have to look that match up actually that you guys are talking about but what was that, um, what was that? <laughs> you got the gutex faces and everything come on ray you got to calm it down over there a little bit you get a little too <laughs> get a little too excited you got the gutex faces and everything come Whoops. on ray Let's see here you got to calm it down over there a little bit <laughs> Oh my god, so you sold out? You sold out and picked Lara. <laughs> Shit. That's two thumbs down. <laughs> That's two thumbs down there. No. 
Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Round one. Fight. You know what I have to say? When Ryan had those glasses on, the sunglasses, they are like, he had the whole persona going for him. I thought that was just brilliant marketing because you'll never forget that. You know what I mean? He really made himself like a persona with all of that. It was really cool. I never saw this costume in that color before. That's pretty neat. The, the Kappa meme. He made himself into the next Kappa meme. Oh, wow. You know what? Maybe that's a good way to to play with Vega. What I'm thinking is this. When you do the slices, he takes a step backwards, right? So what I'm thinking is, is if you do the jabs, and then when they get tired of, of the jabs and they think that they can advance through them, you can mix in Mix in the slice, because you figure it's already making him take a step backwards, right? So maybe that's one of the Final reasons round. why they, uh, they made the medium... The medium slice go back like that. Ooh. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? No! Oh my goodness. Crazy. Vega win. Oh, Derek just said something. Crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, we've got a whole lot of people in here now. Good. Let's do this. I know, Ray. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck happened there? That's what's dangerous about this game. I think it's because it's anyone's game the whole time. You know. It's anyone's match. I thought I had a little hair clip. I don't know. No hair clips for me. Uh. 
Wait one second. I gotta go behind the curtain. Players using uh, Colin now, you know? That's really crazy. Hey, hey, what's up? You know what's really weird? It's, um, for me. It seems like in it's definitely in the evenings. Um in the spring I wanna say in the spring, summer, and fall, because in the winter time it doesn't seem like I have them as much. I'll get these really, really bad headaches. Um and I think it has to do with a certain type of pollen or maybe even a mold. I don't know what, but I'll get a really bad headache. Um, I'll try to drink a lot of water. I'll try taking Motrin, stuff like that. Oh, it's not hot. Oh, man. Um, you know, and it's really funny because it always seems to be my luck if I ever get a migraine during the day, it's always during like a Saturday or a Sunday. So, but it's real crazy. Um, but it's been like that for years. And, uh, and with me, what else is, um, what else is sort of strange is, is that, and I don't know why this is, but I get um, heartburn really easily. I don't know if you guys get heartburn, but this is even when I was in, um, even when I was in um, high school. I used to get heartburn late at night, and I would eat early, earlier, like about five o'clock. Eat dinner at five, and I would still get heartburn. But what I noticed is, is that for the heartburn to go away, it wasn't as bad the less that I weighed. So, I always try to keep myself now at a certain weight to, I don't know why, it just helps with my heartburn for some weird reason. But, um, yeah, isn't that crazy? Oh yeah, exactly. Sometimes you have to put your sunglasses on or, like you said, you're laying in bed, all the lights are out, and the window blinds are down, and you're just hoping that it's quiet, and, and hopefully you can just go to sleep, and when you wake up it'll be better or it'll be gone. Yeah, no, trust me, I know what you're talking about. Those are the real bad ones. Yeah, they're not fun at all. Round one. Fight.
yeah, those headaches are bad. My mom used to get them all the time, too, so I'm wondering if, if it's like a genetic thing. Might be a genetic thing, I don't know. Damn! I missed my slice. What's up? How are you? We were just talking about, um, like, headaches and stuff. <laughs> Which is, you know, sort of random. But, um, but yeah, I know whenever I have a headache or if my, if my hand is acting up or whatever it may be, um, what works best for me is Motrin. I use Motrin. Um, it's a orange bottle. It's really cheap. You can get it over the counter, and um, it works for me f on everything. And the pills are also orange. And I know if you have um, more severe pain, if you go to the doctor, they can actually give you a prescription form of Motrin, okay? Which is like for people that have arthritis and stuff. But it's really only two of those orange pills. That's all it is. It's the same stuff, you know? I want to play that out. No, I don't. I'll show you how about the double dose of poison. Motrin's awesome. Anti-inflammatory Motrin. Yeah. No, M-O-T-M. -M. Like, M. M-O-T-R-I-N. Smitty has it on there. Yeah. Let my beauty intoxicate. Round one. Fight! Wow, where is my slice going tonight? I'm missing it every freaking time. Final 
final round. Something that's invincible and wake up. Something, anything. Wouldn't that be nice if they had something like work and wake up? So it's actually legitimate. Come in. You're gonna have to come in. <laughs> okay. I gave you that look, Paul. I definitely did. Oh my god, the baby's up. It was good seeing you. Crying babies are no fun. No. Especially when they make messes, right? Crying babies are no fun. No. It's go time. All right. Let's do this. Hey, hey, what's up? I was just gonna say, I thought we were gonna have a, um, all kinds of spots in the room. Justin, thank you so much for hosting me. Now I'm, like, all nervous. <laughs> um, but if anyone, usually if anyone would like to join, there's all kinds of slots. It's an open, endless room, but, um... I think we just got our slots all full, so... But I hope you guys have a fun time watching and everything. Well... Now I'm all nervous. <laughs> so anyways, this room is mostly about character matchup and having fun and we just BS back and forth to each other and everything. Um, you're more than welcome to talk. In the chat and everything, I hope you guys have a really good time. Fight. And hopefully, the room doesn't get too laggy because we have a whole pile of people that are usually in it. Nice. Oh my god, the mighty taco. Okay, so I'm really good friends with um, my buddy, uh, Black Skills Paul, in um, California. He's a bigger player too. And we were, <laughs> we were talking about teabagging. And here. And here, 
uh, I was like, well, the, the girl does teabagging. I'm like, you can't call it that. I'm like, we gotta come up with another name. So I was like, what if we called it? I came up with two names, right, Paul? I forgot what the first one was. But I was like, what if we called it, um, shoot, and then rush down. Shoot, I'm trying to do my command grab, but I can't. I didn't want to waste up all my, uh, critical art either, so I just sort of waited it out. Um, I was like, you can't call it teabagging. Like, what are we gonna call it? Well, there's this Mexican restaurant, fast food restaurant up in uh, Buffalo, New York called the Mighty Taco. It's like, what do we call it, Mighty Taco? It's like, that's it. that did so much damage on him. But Akuma's like a real glass cannon. At least until, I don't know what's gonna happen during his patch, but um... Hey! Fifle! Hey, hey! You know, I tried add, adding you on um... On uh... What is it? The um... Well, I added you on my PlayStation list, but I couldn't get you in on the Capcom Fighters one. To play, if you want to play, because I know you have a good guy. Go what is it? The, um, well, I added you on my PlayStation list, but I couldn't get you on the Capcom Fighters one. Let's do this. To play, if you want to play, because I know you. Have oh my God, that red top! It's just comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we were talking about Akuma's life. Um. So. They try to balance him out a little bit with um, having him having a high damage priority and uh, try to even it out with a little bit of a, a lower health, you know? But I don't know what the changes are going to be for him coming up. Let me see here. We usually have this thing uh, coming up. Let me see here. pulled up. Balance suggestions. Where's Peter's information? Round one. Capcom recap. Fight. Oh, it's pretty laggy. Jeez. Wow, this is really bad. I don't know why it's so bad. Okay, let's just try to get this over with as fast as possible, because this is horrible. See, this is like, when it gets like this, I don't know why the game doesn't just cut out. Because it's just really, really bad. It's so laggy. It's like really, really, really bad. A foolish insect 
the dares to Round two. I don't know how to uh, make it. Point. You can I can't even tell if anything's really connected. Ugh. Oh my goodness. That was really, really bad. Sorry about that. Jeez, silly. Now I'm stuck all the way at the bottom. <laughs> I might, um, I might kick him out because the connection was so, so bad. Let me see here. Sorry about that. Alright, sorry about that. Hacked PSN uh, accounts. I didn't even know that was possible. That's crazy. What the heck? Okay, so wait a minute here. We were talking about... Um, we were thinking about... The positive changes that were going to happen for Akuma. So let's see here. Name. Page by Peter. There he is. Balance update. All right, let's take a look here, Akuma. Round one. Okay, so with Akuma, they increased his life from 875 to 900. And... His DP, it says here, added a hurt box for frames 3 through 6. And added invincibility for airborne attacks for frames 1 through 6. So I think one of the changes that they were trying to do for Season 2 was, remember they were saying DPs immediately as they start up off the ground from Frame 1 wasn't going to be, uh, well, invincible anymore, but, uh, but I, I think except for the EX ones, well now for Airborne ones from Frame number 1, from when it starts up, it's going to be invincible again. They increase the knockback distance of the first hit, so you're going to land further back. And they slightly expanded the forward hitbox during Rise animation. So you know it's sort of weird. Whenever I think of somebody that has a weird DP that goes like straight up in the air, I always think of um, Sagat. Because whenever he does his tiger uppercut, it always looks like he goes and then takes straight off, straight up in the air. Um, so they made that wider, and uh, and that was that's all for his medium DP, and uh, it says he for the hard one. Attack and projectile invincibility for frames three through six. They said initially Akuma players were playing more 
conservative, more cautious, and not really uh, using all of his options. So they're hoping that giving him some more life, people are going to be um, being a little bit more, maybe taking more risks with him. So, hopefully Tokido will really be able to use a lot of this, you know? Crazy. I didn't know that, uh, I didn't know stuff like that even happened. That's wild. Ray, I didn't even know you had a Rashid. That's ridiculous. So today, um, if you guys were catching the news or anything at all, on a United flight, I believe that was in, um, Chicago. What they've been doing lately with all air, uh, airlines are they oversell the plane. And then they basically wait till everybody boards and then they'll ask, all right, well, you know, we have some additional people that need to go on. Does anybody want to take a flight on a, on another, you know, airplane and then we'll refund your flight or we'll, you know, pay for different flights or whatever it is? Well, nobody on the plane wanted to get off. So the initial price was $400. Nobody wanted to leave for $400. And they said, okay, you know what? We'll let you guys fly somewhere else for $800 and nobody wanted to go. So they said, all right, well, we're going to put all of the passengers into the computer. The computer is going to randomly pick four people that are going to have to depart the plane and take a later flight. And it was because four crew members of United needed to get to a different destination. I think they had to fly somewhere else. So first three people that the computer, quote unquote, picked, they basically were ticked, but they just got off the plane. The fourth person was a guy, and he did not want to leave the plane. And they kept saying, you know, sir, you know, you're going to have to get off the plane. He said, no, you know. What I think happened was, he said, no, I'm a doctor, I have patients in the morning, I can't leave the flight. I have to get home. So he refused to deport the plane, and they had to call in the Chicago police. And supposedly, the police went in onto the plane, and they grabbed him and forced him out of his seat, pulled him down the center aisle of the airplane, and, um, and everybody had been taping this with their cell phones, and um, you know, and it was, it was a pretty, like, you know, aggressive kind of thing, and, uh, and he was just basically saying, you know, I just want to go home, and he was unbelievably upset, and now everybody is trying to figure out, you know, who's at fault, what really happened, you know, because the thing is this, I think there's something that says, if there's an issue on a plane, the pilot has ultimate control over what's going on. And I think if you cause a major disturbance on a plane, I don't know if they can put you... I know they can fine you, but I don't know if they can put you in jail or press charges against you, you know. Um, but I can't help but wonder 
what is going to happen because they had to force this guy out of the seat. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know? The airlines are at fault. They let all the snakes go in the plane. I never saw that movie. I never saw that one. Okay, so here's the thing. If you guys put it in online, there's gonna be all kinds of cell phone videos of this guy getting forcibly ejected out of this plane. And it's pretty, it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad to see, you know? I can't help but wonder what United's gonna do about all of this. Parry this is up! Parry this! Parry this ready up! Yay! Okay, good, because I really want to see. <laughs> I really want to see you play. Um, but yeah, I can't help but wonder what United's going to do. They had released a statement because they're probably in shock. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. You know what? Other people have said there was a, um, an Echo 2, but I don't know how to get rid of that. I can try to lower the desktop audio more if it's easier. Or maybe it's through, um, no, my speakers are off. Yeah, my speakers are off. Maybe I should lower this. Is that better? I don't know. Boom! That's how you start the fight and finish it quickly. You pathetic insect. Round one. See, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any uh, music on, except I have a little bit on for the action game itself. That's it. Oh, good. There should be two or three slots. If anybody would like to join, please do. It's first to one, 99 seconds, and um, character slot is on. And you can join in on PC and on PS4. Hey, that's awesome. Got caught by that. Oh man, that's so crazy. Round two. Fight. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen with all of that. Um, so what's going on with you guys? Usually we talk about all kinds of crazy stuff in the stream and everything. Um, I'm trying to think of something else exciting to talk about. So let's talk about just flights in general. 
They really ticked me off because when you think about it, the price for flights should be going down. For the amount of flights you're doing, and the price of gas has gone down. So you would think that the overall price of getting your tickets could be lower, you know? But it seems like they've always been steadily increasing over the years. Especially with the price of gasoline going down. And I can't help but wonder, you know, is it possible? Could we ever get these planes to fly on something like natural gas, you know? A friend of mine was saying it's go how time. she used to um, take the train to a lot this. of places. And when I checked some of the um, costs of taking a train, it was still, it was still kind of high. But the thing is, is this, you know, a lot of times people don't have time to sit on a train for like, you know, an eight to 12 hour train ride when you could get to wherever you need with a two hour, two, two and a half hour flight. So, come on before me when in my presence. If you're going to be eating beans, you'd have to eat like a truckload, a truckload of beans, <laughs> and then you'll be lit, lit up. You know, we won't know. <laughs> we won't know if it works if you don't try. <laughs> you well, I bet those vegetarians will know. Round they one. Know. Fight. Because they're all about the light. <laughs>
Hail Mary, because if you miss it, you're going to get lit. Lit up. Hey, thank you. You know what? Every time I try to sneak forward doing that, like, crouch walk of his, he'd blow it up. Every time. I was like, oh my god, I can't. And he was spaced out just right. Every time I tried to hit him, time. I couldn't reach him. No. See, if we had... If we had God with one of those Vega claws, though, that's what I'm talking Let's about. That's what we need. We need Vega with a projectile and, and Guile with a claw. And then I'll be... No, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare, please. They can use buff in every sense of the word. And then he needs buff again. Guile. What we need to do is nerf Ibuki. Paul, close your eyes. I'm playing Gao. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Ryu, go beyond the battle. Hey, it's nice to see you. Yeah, I'm happy you made it in. Yeah, I can't wait till the new patch to see what's going to be going on with all of that. Yeah, Chun Li boy, she really got uh
I couldn't figure out what it was. But I know it has to, it, it, it probably was just jump in. Jump in, fierce. It's medium punch, isn't it? Jump in, fierce, medium punch, and then you hit, uh, and you're pressing charge down on the medium punch, and then you hit the, um, you hit the, uh, flash kick then. That's what it is. Oh my god, and now there's a huge line. No. Oh, you got booted to the bottom too. How does that happen? Oh. Are you going to try out Hitbox? Um, you know what? Honestly, I, I probably won't. Um, a friend of mine has Hitbox here, and I tried it. I tried it in my local scene about a year ago, and I just couldn't get used to it. Um, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't my, my kind of thing. Um, but I bet you there's all kinds of people, you know, if they're into playing computer games, would really enjoy using the Hitbox instead. But, um, I actually really like the arcade stick. It's not bad. I think it's pretty good. Round one. Fight. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta end it with a flash kick everything. It's like constant. Constant red, white, and blue. <laughs> people using Yuki. She's a lot of fun. She's a lot of fun to watch. And, um... I'm just happy to see everybody using her, you know? That's true. Yeah, that is true. not free it's just everybody has their moments you know everybody has their moments and everything and you know and that's it I remember um, when I was younger playing sports and I remember one day or a couple days a week I would just be really you oh, know on point with how fast I was or you know, how many games I'd win or whatever it would be. And then other days, it would seem like I couldn't do anything and it was really, really bad. And I think it even comes down to this. Some days you're just, you know, playing really well and things are just clicking and you're doing things, you know, with the right time and remembering everything properly. And then other days you're just off. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry. Um, I, when 
I was really little. Uh, so, like, all through grade school, I played soccer. And then, from high school to college, all through grade school, I played soccer, and I did competitive swimming. In high school and in college, I played tennis. And in college, I figured, you know what? If you're already paying to go to school, I'm going to take advantage of as many classes and clubs as I possibly can. So I played tennis in the fall. In the winter, um, one year, I did um, track. It was like a track, you had a practice in the winter and then you actually did it in the spring. And then um, one spring I did um, rugby. And, uh, and it was sort of like the first year we were trying it out just to see if our school wanted to actually do it. Um, I wonder what's going on here. Oh! What? Um, and then when I was really, really, really little, I did, um, like, dancing. Like, tap dancing and ballet, and I hated it. I hated it so much. And I quit. And, um, my senior year in college, I thought, you know what? I'm going to try out for the dance team just so I can say I did it. You know, and I didn't give up on it. So, Round I did one. Um, the dance Fight. team. But it was really funny because I could not remember the dance routine. Um, and I tried. I tried really hard. But it's sort of funny when um, some girls can remember the dance routines and how to do it like quickly and I was never one of them. So by the time it was over, I was so happy that I hated it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was really good. Round two. Fight. Oh, the game audio is loud. I don't, uh... Is that good? I wonder um, if they're going to bring in Lara's brother into the game. You know? What? Yeah, Sean. I wonder if there has been any type of rumors that he's going to be a playable person. Let's see here. guy. I thought he was pretty good. I liked Cody and um, 
Poison and Hugo, too. I love watching high level Makoto play. I think she's really, really good. I, am Rashid, I like the watching. Um, Remember the name well. Makoto's good. I like watching high level Jury play. I like watching, um, you know, Ibuki too. I think she's really good. But mostly Makoto, just because she seems like she's so angry. And I just love that. But you know who I would really love to see in this game again is, um,. El Fuerte. I love El Fuerte. I thought he was great. Yeah, DJ was good. Oh, um... like the Halloween alternate costumes for um, Street Fighter 4. Do you guys remember when they did the whole cast? I loved those costumes. I thought they were so well done. But they only did a couple of them for Street Fighter 5. I wish they came out with everybody's, you know? That would be so neat. Taking a while. Go. Oh, I'm up. Let's do oh, this. Let me see. All right. Round one. Fight.
They could have done a whole lot more with that character, but they didn't. They didn't. I don't think... I don't think in Street Fighter 4, DJ was ever, like, really good. I don't think they ever did that with them, you know? No. on the desk, damn it. <laughs> mm. Well, do you remember when Poison came out and she was, um, she did a pile of damage or something. I remember there was something about Poison right when she was first released that was really broken. I don't remember what it was, but then I think, uh, when they tried balancing everybody out, they, they worked on her a little bit. It was her fireball? Was that it? I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, see, see how it is. You're gonna have to be real quick because, uh... Ray's gonna try to rush you down. Five hole. Ooh. Ooh. Her fireball game was good with her anti-air. Well, you know what's really crazy? I remember whenever I would play a poison, and she picked whichever ultra it was, where it was the... It was the whip. Not the one where she kissed you, it was the whip one. And I would do a Barcelona all the way to the opposite edge of the screen. And you know how Vega has that double hop where um, you can still get caught? You know, if you time it right, you can still catch Vega because he, he hops on the ground twice. And whenever I would land and they would start up and do that ultra, and he would hop once, and by the time he hopped again, that huge projectile that looked like a sea would travel all the way across the screen. 
screen and I would always think to myself, there's no way I'm going to get hit by that. And I always got hit by that. Every time. To the point where I knew uh, if I was playing against the poison and they had access to an ultra, I would stop using Barcelona, unless I was like trying to combo into it or something, you know? Sometimes I just use it to move. Move around the screen and be annoying. No, I'm not gonna cosplay as poison. <laughs> hey Brett, you cosplay as poison. <laughs> Uh. Let's do this. Well, the weather finally changed over here. It is absolutely beautiful out. It was... 70 to 75 today. Unbelievably nice. She kind of reminded me of like a sexy guile. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of like that. Yeah, you could try. That'd be interesting if you if you did that, Brett. Oh, we got a bookie with the mask off. Round one. Fight. Wow, nine one matchup. Oh my god. I didn't know that. to get wrecked just do your best it'll be fine it'll be fine you know what's amazing they keep showing how um ibuki thinks all the guys are like real cute and everything you know i can't help but wonder if in one of the stories like maybe in street fighter 6 if they have her dating somebody in the game. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, have another, like, romantic story happen. I think that'd be pretty cool if they did that, you know? Oh my god, so you switch. <laughs> You're like, Ibuki's not dating anybody. I'm switching to Nikali. <laughs> hmm. One romantic story within Street Fighter. Can't think of one. Yeah, Ryun Ken? That's true. You could say that. You could say, um. Ken and Eliza. You could say, uh. 
Did we even chun Li date? Or was he kind of in... She was interested in him. Wasn't that how it was or something? But Vega kind of liked her. And, um... And Vega liked, uh, Eliza, too. Uh, and he liked... Yeah, he liked Chun. And then I think he kind of liked... Cammy. He likes everybody. And then... Now, I don't know if it's official or not, but it's supposed to be Cammy and that other girl that's in this story, but she's not a, she's not a playable character. I don't remember her name. But they might have a thing. Oh my god, Geep and Vega. <laughs> that would be wild. Well, you know what? Okay. You could say it could be Geef and Rainbow Mika. Or it could be Ryu and um, Sakura. That would be... That would be a combination there. Or you can. Oh, Yuri and Colin and Gil. Oh, that'd be. <laughs> that'd be a wild. That'd be a wild escapade. That'd be wild. I don't know. I don't know if I can make it to Toriyukin. I'm not sure. Let's do this. Is that really his storyline in Japan, or are you just saying that? Because I'm sure they can't have, like, separate storylines there and here, you know? Oh, I see. I see it. Yeah, I see what you're saying now. Oh, you're actually going to try to find it, so that, <laughs> that might be a thing. Oh, my goodness. Round one. Fight. Well, you know what, too. Remember, um... Uh... I don't remember his name, but it was... The guy's name before he turned into Akuma. But I don't remember... Ge no, it's not Geki. Goki? Is that it? Is it Goki? Goki and a girl, weren't they supposedly talking back and forth with each other? And wasn't the story because she had gotten killed or something that he ended up going to, um, Pat Pato? But I know in the, uh, Street Fighter, uh, live action movie, they said that he and Goken basically liked the same girl. Remember that? But I don't know which story is the actual is the actual story because I thought that I had read somewhere online where they said that uh, Akuma's he was married or something and his wife was killed. Was that it? I don't remember. Goki, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, Goki and Goken. Both like the same girl was what I thought it was, but that was in uh, Assassin's Fist. But I don't know if that's the actual, if the actual story. Well, I know in Mortal Kombat, wasn't it that um, Sub Zero? Wasn't it that Scorpion 
either Sub-Zero killed Scorpion's family or Scorpion killed Sub-Zero's family, so then they went after each other and killed each other's families, and then they've been fighting each other until... for forever. Uh-oh. Sub-Zero killed Scorpion's people, okay. Nikali wins. Yeah, Ken's in love with his eyebrows. <laughs> he brushes them every day. I am officially the worst Mortal Kombat player in the history of Mortal Kombat players. I do not know how to block properly, so you can imagine what a mess that is. It's a horrific mess. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. I tried really hard to play Mortal Kombat 9. I bought it at the midnight release. I bought the game book for it. I tried to learn it on the pad. I tried really, really hard, and I could not get the flow of the game down. Um, I just couldn't do it. I tried. And then uh, I got real frustrated and put it away, and I used um, Kung, Kung Lao. And um, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I put it away. And then when Mortal Kombat 10 came out, I said, you know what? I'm gonna learn how to play Mortal Kombat. And I gave it a good month playing um, the uh, the cowboy. What's his name? Aaron Black. be a swipe. something fancy because he's got a full stick of butter working there. Oh, shit.
It's getting near that time. Oh, I know. No. I've got to go to work tomorrow. I hope you guys had a really good time. We will be on again on Wednesday night. Um, that's about 9.30, 9.45 East Coast time. But I have a feeling some of you guys are most likely in the West Coast. But it's going to be the same thing. You guys can talk in here as much as you want. Um, feel free to join in the room and play and get some practice in as long as the connection is good. And I hope you guys all had a really good time. And we will be seeing you on Wednesday night. Thanks so much for tuning in. Yeah, it was good seeing you guys. Bye.